Hello and welcome. Today I want to share my journey to pass the LPIC exam, LPIC 1 exam. Uh, as a software architect and as a backend engineer, most of the time um, I have worked on Windows platform and Windows services. Uh, but as I have been doing my work and I, I'm also now involved in DevOps uh, related stuff, so I see that more and more uh, Linux platform is being used. So for me, working as a software architect, I, I, I was feeling that I'm lacking this uh, skill and I thought you know, I wanted to uh, upgrade my skill and to pass the exam. So I will share my, my journey with you and I'm hopeful this will help you a lot. Okay, briefly about myself, uh, I've been working in IT industry since more than 10 years now. Primarily, I worked on Java related technologies uh, like Java Swing servlets. These are way back in 2001, 2002, 2003. We used to work in, in these technologies. Those of you who have started their career at that time, they know what I'm talking about. A stretch framework, then Spring framework, and JPA, JUnit, and all these. Uh, I've worked with startups and big corporations as well. And mostly, I used I would say more than 80% I use Windows and currently I'm working on like Golang, AWS and DevOps. So the LPIC exam is actually consists of two exams, 101500 and 102500. And if you pass these two exams, then you get the certificate. And, um, and this is a big achievement. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's, it's still a very basic uh, level exam, like it's a fundamental exam. Uh, but passing the two exam two papers and getting the certificate is uh, is good. Uh, I, I've just shared a brief information here. You can go to the website and check my details about it. So here are my attempts. I did fail in my first try. I tried and um, I failed. So what point I want to make here is if you are trying or if you have failed your exams, that's absolutely okay. Once you get the certificate, nobody would ask you how many times you have failed, right? So if you have failed one time or two times or maybe three times, that's okay. Try to revise what you are missing, what area you are lacking, and then attempt again. Yeah, that is, that's absolutely okay. The failure will help you to, to, to brush up your skills and to focus on the areas where you are lacking. So on the first attempt, I failed, then I passed the two exams. Now, what was my preparation process? Learning.lpic.org is a, is a website uh, where you can go and uh, uh, you, you, you will get the material. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the main website, which is the um, lpic.org. And if you scroll down a bit, here you will get the discover learning.lpic1.org. If you click on this, you will get this in page and here you can see LPIC 1 exam 101 and LPIC 1 exam 102. If you click on any one of this, you can even download a PDF and also here are the topics that you need to cover for 101. And if you click on this uh, plus sign, you will get this subtopic. Uh, if I click on the, any one of the subtopic, uh, sorry, any one of the topics, I am getting the, uh, the, the list which I need to cover. Okay. You can go through it and uh, it's a lesson one it's a big lesson so my my strategy was a bit different i did not go through all these uh, big chapters what i actually did was uh, so for example i want to know what is mode pro i'll copy this okay and uh, i'll say linux space mod prop command okay and then I'll I'll uh, uh, I'll read something from here because in 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 the official documentation the information is too much, right? If you click on here, and let's say uh, th th this is a a a LSPCI, and then there are different parameters for LSPCI. So they are showing you a lot of information. They are giving you a lot of information which you don't need at this point of time, right? So what I normally do or what I did is I searched the topic from here. I, I read, I used to read that, okay, what is information, what this command does. And then I apply this command on virtual machine on a, a VM 
where I have the Linux installed. So this is how I did it and that was uh, helpful to me. Maybe you might want to go through the lessons which are there in the LP website. That's also okay. Whatever helps you to understand the concepts uh, that work. Prepare a Linux VM to practice commands. You can even use the any VM. You can create a VM and you can install Ubuntu or Red Hat. Or if you are already using a Linux uh, virtual, uh, Linux operating system, that's also good. Okay, take notes, take notes, and take notes. This is really really important, especially uh, when you are revising your topics. When you have completed all the topics and you just want to quickly revise, uh, your notes will really really help you. And in my case, the notes has helped me a lot. Practice exams via Udemy. So. I purchased one of the Udemy courses where uh, there were some exams. That course was only the exam course. There was no practice material. It was exam practice and I did that and that was also helpful to me. And then you, you register for the exams and attempt with full confidence. These are my two books, Alpic 101 and Alpic 102. These are full of, I mean, I have written all the information in this book. Uh, in, in, actually it's a copy and these copies are full co co cover to cover okay so you can also use or and do something like that and write down what is the important information so that you could refer it back uh, whenever you want uh, for the practice exam i use this course you can also uh, take this course and uh, this was helpful to me there are some free resources on examtopics.com and these are not completely free, but they have shared some of the questions which are free to use. So you can go and uh, attempt the exam there. And if you like it, then you can purchase their, uh, their package, uh, which is, I don't know what is the current price, but you can look, uh, look into this. To register your exam, first you have to get the LPI ID. Now, let me show you how you can get this LPI ID. So you would uh, click here, a uh, register link. And here you would register yourself, right? You register for an LPI ID. Here you will supply the uh, all the necessary information, and once you are registered, you will get the ID. And this ID will help you to to register yourself for the exam. Pearson VUE is the authority responsible for taking the exam. So uh, what you have to do is you have to go to this website and uh, create your account. Let me go to this website. So here you, you can you can create your account and once you create your account you can schedule your exam and then you can attempt your exam uh, at your home and you will attempt your exam at your home and choose a quiet and disturbance free environment it is really important because now you are you are att attempting the exam and it's super important to say that nobody should disturb you at that point of time and yeah and good luck Hopefully, this information will be helpful for you. And if you want to ask something, um, you can write to me, you can comment, and I'll reply to your comment. And good luck.